Hi guys, um, welcome back to the channel. I'm literally like shaking um, because today I'm gonna be doing my pregnancy test. I have you guys on my laptop stand because I figured my tripod upstairs and I feel like I was making too much freaking noise and now I'm gonna be disappeared from the bedroom because I'm actually in child playroom and I don't know if they come looking for me. So I don't want to keep making noise and the fan is on in our room really loud. And so I'm sure he won't be able to hear me, but I still want to whisper in case he comes downstairs. Um, but you shouldn't. We're supposed to be going out as a family together, but of course we're late because we were tired. Anyways, um, it is officially a week and a day past my transfer. And I want to test. I um, really wanted to record this because I've never ever had the courage to record this before. I wanted to do my first cycle or second cycle. I recorded something last year for our field transfer, but that footage got deleted and I couldn't post. I had a whole transfer day vlog and couldn't post that because I lost the footage or deleted the footage, whatever. Um, and so there's that. So I figured why not? I've been telling you guys about IVF. I've been sharing just light details with you guys, no specifics. And so I did want to share this with you. Someone said to me, you know, you're so brave for sharing your story. And I guess I'm brave, but at the same time, I feel like sharing or not sharing isn't going to change the outcome, you know? It might bring peace to some people, but it really doesn't bring me much peace. Keep it in a secret because then I'm only leaning on a couple people for support and I feel like I put too much on them. Um, and I'm miserable and you know, my mood's changed and sad, I'm crying all the time and I might disappear and I don't know why. So if I say, you know, I'm not pregnant and I disappear for a while, people will understand, you know, right? And um, also it's like the way my faith is right now, I, don't believe that whether I share or don't share is going to work out. We did several IVF cycles in secret and they didn't work. And then when it finally worked, we were so pressed to share with the world like, oh, we're pregnant with twin boy girl twins. And then we lose our daughter. So to me, keeping the secret doesn't change it. Sharing doesn't change it. I, if anything, sharing just yields more prayers in my opinion because I can only be positive. I'm so nervous. Anyways. I'm testing with first response. I have the line test. <laughs> if I'm pregnant, I'm not telling Eric um, right now. We're going to Mexico in a couple days. And um, I'm going to tell him there. I know I'm pregnant, guys. I, it's a fact. Like, let me stop talking. Let me do the test. I already peed in the cup. Told myself this time, oh, I'm not gonna test. I didn't have any urge to test. Um, I was gonna wait till beta day. Let me don't have yet. to give your pregnancy test 11 days after transfer. And I was just gonna wait, but I couldn't. I had no urge to test, but my symptoms, I was like, oh, I gotta test. I'm not reading instructions. I don't care. I'm just gonna wing it. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going crazy with the instructions and stuff, y'all, because if I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. It's gonna pick up if I put a, a speck of pee on it, okay? I'll do this in a little longer. When I put it, when I opened it, it already had a clock symbol on this one. This is the first response digital. Like it's an ovulation test. Can you guys see that? I don't think I ever did a digital one of these. Oh, now it's blank. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm shaking. Okay, so the reason why I'm taking a test. It's because I wrote down my symptoms every day 
and they're exactly how they were for my last transfer. How much time I'm supposed to wait? I'm just going to lift it up. And I don't want to do all the timer stuff. I feel like all that that time ago, no do do do. Is I'm just going to lift the box up and look at y'all. I'm all over the place, but I really oh Jesus. Okay, so this transfer first day, well the first exactly the first day after the first day once transfer was over, I was extremely exhausted. Took a long nap. That always happens. My first day after deep, um, my first day after transfer, I won't do PT here. Days past transfer, um, I had a brown blob spotting. Sorry, this is TMI. Please click off if it is. Um, the second day was just like pelvic stretching. The third day after transfer was like pelvic stretching, back aches from bending over. The fourth, fourth day, I was super thirsty. I had these nauseous spells where I had just went grocery shopping like a day or two before and everything I bought sounded disgusting for like an hour. It was weird. And still constant pelvic stress and stretching. Now day five was like, okay, you're pregnant. I knew I'm pregnant. I had this heavy weighted uterus feeling dull ache as if something was like burrowing into my uterus it's so hard to explain but when i was pregnant in the twins it felt like it was a quarter in my uterus like that's what it felt like um and i was like, okay that's it and i kept having all these vivid crazy dreams and woke up with a bad back ache went to bed with a really bad back ache i had to wear a heating pad and then six days past transfer, I didn't have any symptoms anymore, but I was exhausted, like, like level zero. But I was pushing through because I still had to work and get stuff done. And then um, I took um, I took a long nap that day. And then yesterday, um, very bloated, um, heavy uterus. I was very, 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 very irritable. Everything was irritating me. I felt like everyone was just being inconsiderate of my time and the things I had going on. So, I'm going to just look because I feel like it's been two minutes. I got time only because I'm not. Let me know how much time I waited. Okay, I know I'm pregnant because my symptoms from the last time, y'all, that heavy weighted uterus, that is like it. And then this morning I woke up. Cause I had a horrible dream that I was bleeding, and I know it's just me getting into my head. Like, cause I know I know for a fact I'm pregnant. I know my body. I've only been. I feel like this pregnant. Well, last time with the twins. Any other time it was a chemical pregnancy, and so I only knew because I was testing super early, and I would have other symptoms like my boobs were sore, but it would feel like PMS symptoms. This different. The backache, the weight, uterus the bloated feeling that's yeah like people think about coming my period but that bloated feeling is different okay i'm over Whew. okay i know i'm pregnant okay i'm not doing the thing where i'm showing y'all first and then i, I look i'm not doing it i'm looking first and then y'all see Whew. okay 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 i know i'm pregnant i know i'm pregnant i know i'm pregnant i know i'm pregnant I knew I was pregnant. I knew it. I knew I was pregnant. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I, I, I knew it, guys. I knew it. I'm going to show the camera. Oh, Jesus. Ha ah, ha. My nails look trash. But I'm going to have to get my nails done now because I'm going to have the fingers. Oh my gosh. See how I'm sleeping? So, I got to calm down. It's like, is it that serious? Oh, I can't even find a tag on lens. I'm trippy. Okay. okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's stop now. Yeah, I now. And then you see the yes plus. Ah, ah. Oh my god. I feel like I hurt her. Just get up. Oh my god, he's so dead buddy. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's like I'm excited, y'all. My head is already spinning, mine already going. Like, I'm excited I got a test. Now I gotta see my beta number. Now I gotta see my beta double. Then I have to do an ultrasound. So I'm just trying to, I was one right here. I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. Like, that's all I can do. I'm just not gonna stress myself out.
guys, it's showtime. That's what I made for Eric. And I'm about to record his reaction. Let's see.